How's it going guys? Up at the cottage again. Got the AC blasting because it's super hot outside. It's, it's like high 20s, almost 30 Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's quite warm. I would say high 80s. High 80s to me is quite hot. I'm cooking and living in here for a few days now. The little guy's playing on the bed. <laughs> Got the pop out out. We had some people sleeping in here. We lined the pop out in sleeping bags and that worked very good. It's not even hot over here. It's nice. It's actually comfortable temperature even with the AC on way over where it is over here. We got the Brazen Stratton 2000 watt generator out here providing power for the trailer and also charging the batteries. My homemade power chargers is just four power stacked up. And Here's what we're making for power. Looks like a cloud just went by. <coughs> Not all that much. Uh, it's going up. There we go. Usually make between 400 and 500 watts <coughs> on the flat mount panels. Where are we at for voltage? 46.4 volts. We killed the batteries down to 40 volts this morning. <coughs> Ran this till 11 o'clock this morning off the of batteries from last night kept a beautiful temperature this two host system works fantastic I highly recommend it like it's it's almost 30 degrees outside and it's still working great it's holding at 76 inside around <coughs> yeah got the power here for charging cell phones I got the folding solar panel outside and I'll give you an update on uh, how it looks outside and uh, we got to do some work in my grandparents cottage well check it out guys doing laundry, draining the house, running all the ACs, playing about 10,000 watts. <coughs> we got 12,000 BTU there, 5,000 BTU there. Our projector's on, I'm going to be turning that off, doesn't need to be on. <coughs> the lights in here, fridge in here, this 5,000 BTU, these all run on the 8000 reliable it's been doing great Let's see what are we sitting at here 62 116 volts <coughs> everything else in the house is running through here runs the dryer runs uh, two fridge no one fridge uh, one freezer uh, and everything else in the house so these are almost maxed out and then I still have room to play on this one. All the fans are running on all of them. These ones the fans are running. This one right now the fans just turned on. So this room is like, it's like a sauna if I didn't have uh, that thing going. I decided not to just vent this room. I just air condition it instead. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. How's it going? going off grid giving you an update from 12 o'clock at night batteries are low 58 volts and we're actually low well yeah, 58 it is very warm in this room I got the AC off it's just at the fan for circulating the air between this and those two uh, magnesite inverters, they're putting out some heat. So the room is warm. And actually the biggest culprits of the heat are these two, mainly the 250. This thing gets hot when it's close to the maximum. This thing gets warm, this thing gets hot. I don't really like the 250, to be honest, I like the 150 a lot. The 250 Obviously, I like it because it works still. Like it had nothing's happened to it. It is very warm in this room. <coughs> Say it's a good 30 Celsius or I don't know around 90 degrees Fahrenheit in this room. And yeah, we're going to be just scraping by power-wise. We still have uh two window air con or air conditioners a 12,000 BTU and a 5,000 BTU running on this guy plus my computer 
lights, this room, a uh, fridge, and all that stuff. That's what this guy's running right now. I'm making the signs, running the rest of the house. And uh, they're actually not running that much. Most of the load is on the reliable right now. <coughs> As you can see, we're only pulling 30 or 13 amps. So we're not pulling too much here. And just giving you a late night update. Thanks for watching.